Hey everybody, all right, we are uh, we are uh, ready to pick up this load right across the street. All right, the local time here is 4.29. Temperature is 98 degrees. up a load here at uh, Bimbo's Bakeries. Anybody know the history of why of all names they call it Bimbo? Anyway, picking up a load here going to Frederick, Maryland, delivering to Aldi's. Everybody, we've been assigned to door 15. Let's see, what's the game plan here? Where is door 15 anyway? Oh, right there. You know what? I think this is going to work out real well. over here. Let's make a sharp U-turn. I don't know about you, but uh, I avoid blindside backing like the plague. I really do.
do you know? One shot John is still in vacation. Actually, he's on paid leave. <laughs> thousand pounds of uh, weight they take their time forever but we are loaded and we are on our way to Aldi's in Frederick Maryland one five five Three five nine one eight. Up and down. Minus eleven degrees. No, minus ten actually. Seven miles away. Our delivery schedule is at 4 a.m. Eleven thousand pounds in the box. The current time is 8:23. We started our clock at what? 428, 430 I think it was. So many of you have been asking for an update for a long, long time about Grace. Well, the boss assured me that tomorrow is going to be the day. Tomorrow will be April 21st, 2023. And uh, this truck has already been spoken for for a different driver.
by the way, I want to big a sh big give a big shout out to Bob Quinn who sent me the TPMS and also to Crystal who sent me the VFO 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 yeah it almost sounds like a VFO VFO the VFO uh, dash cam which I am happy to say I am now an affiliate seller you use JBG travels as a uh, uh, promo code and it will be twenty dollars off your purchase in a quarter mile turn left on or in Javanoo US 221 and I get a little bit of a commission what was that in 900 feet turn left on or in Javanoo US 221 I get a little bit commission each time a customer buys it. I have no idea how much though. But I am just more, I'm a little bit more excited than, you know, the, the idea that I'm actually an affiliate seller or whatever they call it than the actual making money out of it, you know, but yeah, this is my first time to be uh, an affiliate. With any product. And uh, I don't know, it just seems mind boggling that anybody would bother to do that, you know. We have nine hours and 53 minutes left to drive, which is also our 14 hour rule. We need three hours and 36 minutes. I was gonna stop at uh, the pilot truck stop in Rafine, Virginia, get me a shower, but that's uh, too late. We gotta go. This is certainly not the way we came in last night. In 1.5 miles, turn left on Cloverdale Road, US 220 Alt. Cloverdale Road. Look how bright that light is. behind us. I tell you, these LED uh, headlights are great. In a half mile, turn left on Cloverdale Road, US 220 Alt. If only people would adjust them properly.
if I ever told you this, but uh, once in a while, I'd be doing nothing. I'd be, no matter what I do, I'd be working, I'd be sleeping, I'd be eating, whatever it is. And this immense feeling of being somewhere else comes over me. For example, right now, I feel like I'm in Colorado. Not not the scene, okay? It's it's a memory of a long, long time ago that I have passed by a town. It doesn't even have to be a town. It could be a cliff. It could be a road. It could be the middle of nowhere. It could even be a, a cow pasture. It's just a memory of different places that would just pop up. And I, that's where I would feel like where I am. Sometimes I'd feel like I'm in, I don't know, Washington. Sometimes in Florida. Right now, I, I had this overwhelming feeling I'm in Colorado. Which is really weird. Anyway, we should be uh, approaching US 11, which is the Lee Highway, 4.1 miles away. Oh, that means we're actually going to be bypassing the uh, the Trout Vale, Troutville scale. I'm okay with that. One of you wanted to know how the TPMS display uh, battery life is holding up. It's been on all day long without a charge. But of course, it has been very, very sunny outside. Which the solar charger in the back probably helps a lot. Last night though I went to sleep. I unplugged it. But I left it on. When I woke up in the morning. I woke up at around what? 8 o'clock maybe? I looked at it. It was uh... It was off. So I thought, wow, I guess the battery didn't last all that long. And about 9 o'clock again, when I looked at it, it was on. So either it went to sleep or from, you know, early in the morning till about 9, the solar charger was uh, charging.
I tell you, this uh, TPMS system here, I really do like it. I most especially like the sensors with the air chuck or the air valve in it. That way you don't have to take off. That way you don't have to take off the uh, the sensor to add or release more air to it. Out of it. If I remember correctly, there should be a, an old used to be an old pilot truck stop here. There used to be a TA truck stop there. Boy, that was a long time ago. JBG brain is coming back on. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There, that used to be the old uh, pilot truck stop. At the roundabout, take the fourth exit. <laughs> Ain't I is. Think that. <laughs> woot woot!
there you go, folks. That's all I have for you at the moment. God willing, we'll see you later. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good and godly day. Peace. Hey everybody, John if you get here. Good evening greetings from uh, Frederick, Maryland. Alright, we are delivering this load to Aldi's here in Gas House Pike 8753 Gas House Pike. Our appointment is at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. but uh, I've been known to take you early here. Let you check in early anyway. The local time here it is 11.54 p.m.